Now I'm going to show you what to do when you go to squarespace.com so that you can choose your template and start off building your site. The first thing you should do is click on get started. At that point, you can either carry on looking around or you can choose your industry um, and it'll come up with templates that they think would suit you. So if you're going to sell jewellery, for example, click on that and then go to next. And then your goals are on here, so you might want to sell products. And where are you in the process? So let's talk it, uh, let's say we're turning a project or hobby into a business. And now it'll come up with templates that they think are best for you. If you don't want to look at those, you want to look at all the other templates available, you can do. So there's an option here for all templates. If you want to have a browse through these, you can actually um, preview them. So if you hover on each one, there's an option to preview. And once you're in there, you can click on view demo site. And then you can get an idea of what that particular template looks like. Click around here, they've got some kind of example pages for you to look at. So here's the shop. Click on the product. See what happens there. And then if you've had enough looking at that, you can close that down and go back a step on your original window and look at a different template. So let's preview this one. View the demo site. Again, have a look around at it, see what you think. And look at the portfolio. Look at the blog. And these are all example pages. So bear in mind, obviously, the content will change. You can have a lot more links in the nav navigation. You might not want a blog, you might just want to shop. Um, so don't get too caught up with the content of the actual template itself. Um, and also bear in mind that you can change your design completely if you want to. So they, you can't actually switch templates with Squarespace because each one has exactly the same functionality and exactly the same design options. So you could actually turn one te template into another because there's so much variation in what you can, how you can develop your own template that you've selected. If you want to look at all the templates, click on all and they'll all come up here. So you can carry on previewing. Bear in mind that if you've got quite large images, you want banner images, you want it to be quite image heavy, then look for a template that has got a lot of images to make life easier for you. Um, if, for example, you're a blogger and you might only have um, smaller images to, to go with your articles, you might choose a template that has got smaller images and hasn't, it doesn't rely so heavily on banner images. Um, but, but also just remember as you're choosing that so much can change in these templates once you go into the styling, um, that the fact you can't switch a template won't be a problem. I'm going to go into photography to have a look at what's there. You can see here, you've got some kind of more minimalist ones with the white backgrounds, a bit softer fonts. So it is very, very flexible in terms of the, the choice of templates. I'm going to start off here, I think, with Beaumont. So I'm going to just click start here when I hover over it. And now I'm going to log in because I've got an account already with Squarespace. But what you'll do is you'll log in with email, Apple or Google to create your account. There we go. So now I'm into my, my, my site, my account set up on this, on this template, and I'm going to give it a site title. 
Bear in mind that if you've got a logo, um, the title won't show up, but it will be important for your SEO, search engine optimization, which we'll talk about in this different session. Um, so whatever you put here, if you don't have a logo, is quite important because it will appear at the top of your site. If you've got a logo, then it doesn't matter too much what you put as your site title for the time being. Click continue. Then you'll be given a little tour of how to move around the site, how to navigate it. Um, and you can choose to skip that or you can click next and go through each stage of the little tour they give you. So I'll click get started now. And there we go. You're in your template and ready to start work. I'm now going to talk you through the admin panel on the left hand side that you can see here. Um, you've got pages, first of all, which is where all of your website content will be. Um, at the moment, there's, there's demo content placed there by Squarespace, but eventually it will be your own pages and your, your blogs, your shop, everything will be here for you to add new sections to new pages and also edit the existing pages. Then you've got design. If you go into site styles, you'll see this is where you can control the, the look and feel of your site. So this is all about, it's not about the content of your site, but it's about the fonts, the colors, the font sizes, the way the buttons look, the way images appear um, and your products if you've got a shop. Commerce is if you've got a store on your website, you can control um, everything from here in terms of the orders that you've got, your inventory, your notifications for customers, um, shipping, taxes, everything is controlled from here. Then you've got marketing, which covers your email campaigns, which is very possible to do within Squarespace. You don't necessarily have to have a MailChimp account. You can, you can do everything from within Squarespace if you want to. Um, profiles is where you can keep tabs on your subscribers. So people have actually subscribed to newsletters, um, customers who've purchased from your website and donors if you're taking donations for, for a cause. SEO, we'll go into more detail on this um, in a different session, but this is where you can control um, your site description. Um, and the way your page title and description appear across the site. Then you've got location management, which is for your Google business. So you can set up your Google business page here in terms of the, putting the, the location there. Then you've got promotional pop-up and announcement bar, which is um, basically where you can have a pop-up when people arrive at the site to promote um, joining a mailing list or um, a special event or a product you're promoting. There's lots of different, it's very flexible. And then you've got the announcement bar here, which is, um, it appears at the top of the website. And you can, you can make an announcement here in terms of perhaps opening hours if they change or um, if you've got, an, it could be used for offers as well. And then this area here is all for social media and advertising, including selling products on Instagram. Scheduling is if you want to take bookings online, this allows you to do that. Um, takes a while to get in there, there we go. Um, and you can actually incorporate um, a calendar for customers to book time slots and pay for time slots. Then you've got analytics. So this is to keep an eye on your traffic. Obviously there was no traffic to this site at the moment because it's completely new, but um, when it's more established, then you'll be able to see um, where traffic's coming from, um, devices people are using to access your site. Um, and you can see which the most popular pages are, um, keywords people are using to get to your site um, and how many people are even clicking on buttons. Profiles again it's, it's accessible here as well. 
Then you've got settings. Now, this area here is the main settings for the, to the website itself. So not content, not design, but your, your settings. So availability at the moment is private because this is obviously, we haven't paid for hosting yet. We haven't even started off the website. So if I click on there, what will happen is um, you can either, you can password protect it while you're building it. So if you want other people to be looking at it as well without having to log in, then you can create a password for people to just type in the password and see the site. Once you've paid for hosting, you can actually click public um, and that's when anyone can see your site. Member areas is um, if you've got um, a membership plan. So people, to, so people can actually sign up and be a member of your site. So it means they can access special content Language and region, definitely worth going into here and setting that. So at the moment, this is correct. English, United Kingdom, United Kingdom. Um, so I'm happy with that. So just make sure that's all correct. Then you've got business information. So you can type in a few details here about your phone number, email, and address, if you want to put your address on there. Hours. Social links um, is basically to, you can see here, there's an Instagram icon and a Twitter icon that's coming from here. So these are to make sure that the links are correct. So for Instagram, for example, this is going to Squarespace at the moment. So I'm going to change that to my own Instagram. I've opened a window here with the URL on it. So I'll copy that URL and I'm going to change that to mine. And you can do the same for Twitter, for Facebook. So any social media that you want to add on there, you can. So for the time being, I only want Instagram. So I'm going to remove Twitter. And you just add a new one by clicking here you can paste in URL. Connected accounts is also to do with social media, but this is for you to be able to feed in um, your, your tweets or feed in your Instagram posts. And what it means is you've got to actually connect the account with your password. So what you'll do is you'll click on connect account. And here you'll see the options of the accounts you can connect. So I'm going to connect Instagram. And what I've done is in a separate window up here, I've actually logged into my Instagram. So it's all ready. And now if I click on Instagram, a window pops up, it's asking me to allow um, Instagram to access Squarespace. I'm gonna click allow. And now the settings have come up. So I'm going to save that. I do want data to be downloaded. So every time I, I create a new post on Instagram, it will appear on my Squarespace site once I've added that functionality to the site, save. And I can connect as many as I like. So you can connect um, Twitter and your tweets will come through. There's quite a few different options here. I've created 12 Squarespace tutorials teaching you how to build a website from scratch using version 7.1. The whole cost is 130 pounds for lifetime memberships. So that includes any new functionality that's introduced by Squarespace will be added to the course for you to refer back to. And you can always go back to my videos. If you'd like to have a look, if you go to the website, managemywebsite.com, the link is below as well and then go to video tutorials, you can see the page with full information about what's included. Um, if you scroll onto here, you'll see the various sections and the modules that I cover. And if you scroll down, there's a little more information about the content, follow-up support, which includes a two hour recorded webinar for my students who have booked the course plus one-to-one -one tuition, um, which is chargeable for one-to-one. -one. The webinar is included all you need to do is click sign up here and then you can you can join in. Bit of information about here, me below here. I've managed Squarespace websites for 13 years now. My name is Ali Estelle. 
Um, I don't really like being on camera. Um, so that hence me not introducing anything on camera, but um, you can find out some information about me here. And there's a few testimonials. I've worked with the Royal Photographic Society. I still lecture for them now every month. Um, Steam House in Birmingham. Um, I'm a Squarespace authorized trainer, an expert and a circle member. I look forward to meeting you hopefully one day. <laughs>